Hey everybody, I have a new book to go over and review. This one's called The Adult Coloring Book Treasury 2. It has 130 illustrations from 70 different artists. And it's a really nice big book, heavy duty, lots of pages. And it is one-sided, but the pages are very thin. Um, I have to say that this is one of those books where that saying don't judge a book by its cover comes in because I've seen this book a lot and I thought it was a cookbook to be honest with you I really did I thought it was a cookbook when I first saw it it looked like a cookbook and then I saw somebody flipping through it I didn't pay much attention to it and I was like oh my goodness that's a giant coloring book so I had to have it because I like the books with all the different artists in it because you just get such good quality and different you get to try out different artists you know and I like that they have the artist name and sometimes they'll tell you the, the book name sometimes they'll tell you where you can buy it off of Amazon their blog website or whatever just always look here to the side I don't think these they're not perforated but they are one-sided they have like see this page it's cute but it's like childish so you, they do have children's pages like this one and um, adult more adult pages I would say like this one this is very adult you can get in there at your fine liners on this one this one very beautiful Andrea Volkanjic I love the hair this is a pretty one. Very cute. Oh, I could just see a little boy tearing this out and coloring his face. Another one that's um, kind of childish. This is very different. A little odd. Um, Anise Torella. Underworld. Yeah, they have some that are um like the mandalas and the blackout pages just like that. See, I'll never color this just because number one, I don't like mandalas. They're just too repetitive and it's not relaxing to me. And number two, it's so tiny, my eyes would just die after looking at that all day. See, this is like one of those more adult pages I was telling you about. This is so beautiful, this little fairy. I will definitely color her. Barbara Lanza from Fairy Lane, Volume 1. And now, since I like this, I know I can go and find this artist and purchase this book if I like. Look at all the zen doodling going on. There's a random eyeball in the middle of the jungle. I like the underwater scene. See, this, I don't know if I would call it, it's a mandala, but it's bigger. And you could color this a lot easier than some of those other ones. Patient Horn Beast. Okay. Bone brain bone. I don't know what this is. I have no clue. It's from Carla Chatterton, Night Owls Creations.com. To be honest, it looks like an egg. It's an egg shaped. I don't know. If somebody knows what this is, please let me know because I have no idea what that is. Uh, it says night owl, so maybe it's an owl. I, I don't This is a beautiful, beautiful dragon. Gorgeous um, wolf. I love the vintage lady, vintage fashion. Chris Olsey. This is beautiful, so I really like this one. Who's this? But Pamela Abel. Abel. Double Vision by Colette Fergus. Another mandala type picture. This is really cute. It's, this would be really cute if you colored it all in. It's all the little sweets and donuts and cookies and would be really cute. Color Me Form by Jade Elizabeth. Little Christmas tree. Ornaments. Isn't she beautiful? I might color her first. Christina McAllister, The Lumina Chronicles. I see I've seen that book. I didn't I have not purchased it, but I have seen it. It's very nice. See what I mean by all the different artists? I love this type of book. Look at her. 
another one by Christina McAllister. This one's from her Magical Beauties book, and you can find her at www.gypsymystery.com. Another beautiful little mermaid and other octopus by Ellen Million. Another mermaid, unicorn castle. Another Ellen Million. What is this? It's a paper globe. 3D paper craft for you to color and put together. Okay, well that's neat. I don't think these are. I don't know. Looks like whales, but I'm not sure. Like that. Zebra. The fish. Look how beautiful they are. And Alice. I love, love, love Alice in Wonderland. So here's um, the art of John Tennille through the looking glass. Unicorns, Mardi Gras mask, strange cat, a fairy and a giant bumblebee, under the mermaid, little kitty page. See, I wouldn't cover this. I would give it to somebody though. With kids. Yeah, I think you get the idea. I'm not going to go through every single page, but maybe just the ones I like a lot. This one I love. Josephine Lapuma. She looks like she has an Etsy shop. That is really cute. Very, very cool. Another dragon scene. This is like grayscale. Yeah, they even have grayscale. Um, author, Rankums, Fairies, and Nymphs. Nymphs, however you say it. Random eyeballs. Just like another little fairy. Cup of coffee. A very, um, I'm gonna say a partridge in a pear tree, but I'm not sure. Or just a fat bird, I don't know. I like the little camper, the flamingos. Very, very cute. Rockadoodle art by Heather Johns Guard from Rockadoodle Sentiment Book. Odd, but cool. I like the girl. I'm not too sure why she's sitting here with all these cats, but it's very cute. It's a cat fairy. And then we got another random flowery zen, zen doodle. And at the very back, it tells you all of the artists, an index of all of the artists, I should say. It tells you a little bit about each one, and it also has their, you know, their Etsy stores, their Facebook, whatever they have on here. Um, and that's it. That's, it's just a great book. So now I think I'm going to go buy the Treasury One book, see what's in that one. Um, and if you have any questions or comments, please leave them down at the bottom. And I will also leave links to where you can purchase this. I think I, I think I already said I got this off of Amazon. But yes, I'll leave a, um, a link down at the bottom. Thanks a lot, and I appreciate you watching. Bye-bye.